let's just talk a little bit about mobility because we spoke about this last week. Yeah, what do you want to discuss? Well, it's like this. Um, I've, I'm going to listen to a, a webcast, which is a sort of trade show tomorrow about mobility, um, which is is from some sort of computer dealers or internet dealers, whatever they're known as now. Okay. System support people. But okay. um, they're talking about Microsoft Office, I think, and how that can be replaced by mobile uh, systems. So their idea of mobility is that everybody's mobile. But you sort of assume that, don't you? In your world, without an FM signal, Have you've, you, gone, uh, you've gone mobile. Can I explain why I, I find... I, fi- I, I assume it in my world. Yeah. I, because I can't read. Ah. OK. That's why I... I so, I retuning from medium wave to FM or... Yeah, well, I'm just not, I'm just yeah. saying I because I can't read. I prefer to uh, I prefer to be I prefer I prefer it's e- just easier for me to be able to listen to the radio on the internet. So a phone, you can manipulate a phone more easily. I can man- manipulate the iPhone because because it has um, a screen a screen reader on it, and if the sites are designed for. Uh, to work with a screen reader, usually it works pretty well, but sometimes even that can have its technical problems and I have to get sighted assistance. So that's why I was making... Because that, it's just the way I do things in my world. I mean, I you could say I live in my own little world. I don't, well, I we don't, all do. I don't... I, don't, I, I possibly don't... Um, you know, I don't... Well, yeah, I mean... That's just how I live in my world. I would love to be. I would. So, you know, it, so John, look. Can I just sort of ask ask you this question then? Yeah. Because kind of. um, mobility, you've you've. I was, I was sort of using the. I've been using the word mobility as a technology term. Yeah. That the world, is, the technology is moving more towards mobility. Mm-hmm. But when I talk to you about mobility, mobility is a topic uh, that you've been taught. Uh, yeah. About how to move around. Yeah, it's how to move around the streets safely, um, um, and uh, I don't know. You could say skillfully, well, safely, safely with people that's living with visual impairment. Anyway, I mean, I, I don't um, necessarily always uh, stick to the stick to the book, um, as as you well know, because it's not always practical. I don't. No. I don't find. You know, or it's not always say. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's always practical to cross at a Pelican Crossing when 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 there's simply no cars coming. When there's no cars coming, so you might as no. well cross one. So, so the way the technology is going, John. If I just sort of carry on pressing this point because we, we've it's twenty two to twenty to two now. We, we we'll have to start packing up shortly. But um, it's like it's like this. What I'm sort of told about the technology is that people can be staring at their phone, um, walking along, as they do. Yeah. And because all the cars are going to be uh, location-enabled, driven by Google robots or yeah. something, your phone will know when a car is mounting the pavement or you should, might be crossing a road still looking at your phone, and your phone will go beep, 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 there is a phone, uh, there, sorry, there is a car about to uh, get very close to you. This is what they're talking about, which all seems a bit impractical to my mind. I think you might just as well sort of look around you as you're crossing the road. Yeah, but anyway, that's uh, where I mean, the technology. I think, I think it would be. I think. I think that sounds very good if it if it if it bloody if it works. If it works, it's all very well. What I what I'm so what I've gathered, I, you know, I, I what I've gathered over the years, I've I've always when I first started using like technology on a computer to help me. Yeah, I kind of I kind of re- relied on. Uh, hope that would work all the time and sometimes it doesn't and I'm kind of gathering I'm kind of thinking as I'm getting older that all this technology is great yeah you pay all this money you know you they, they charge all this money for it they do but all of it's great as long as it works when it fails you it's no point in being there because it's absolutely <laughs> utterly useless. So what happens then? Um, people haven't got an answer, and it's just absolutely utterly useless that 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 you know that they that this you know you, you, you well yes it just it just it's just something that concerns me really because 
yeah, yeah all these consumers are, are, are pushing this technology and as you said as you said that they like with the phones it, yeah it's it's logically gonna it's logic but it's logically gonna tell you when a car's getting very close to you but what happens when that technology fails and then if you're totally blinding and relying on that and it fails what about if your battery goes flat and it, you know well yes exactly so it's it's all right up to a point but it's not it's not practical to be relied on. This is this is a thing. I've got a sat nav on my phone. I don't I don't rely on I don't rely on the sat nav because what about if my phone goes flat? I don't rely on access technology anymore. I'm as I'm getting older, I'm beginning to realise how how more difficult it is getting for me to be able to use a computer accurately because I'm finding that you know even though this technology is brilliant, it's not always top notch and it's, it doesn't always work the way it's intended to work and then people and then I've, I've tried to do demonstrations before with um, a voice recognition software I've done thousands of demonstrations over the years and in in the uh, West and the West Foundation where I used to be um, educated um, apparently yeah uh, but I've done well, you obviously are educated I've done, I've done a good job I've done thousands of um, you know I've tried to do thousands of I don't know demonstrations no. yeah. in front of everybody but there's been some demonstrations where it's been a bloody pain in the ass no no no, no. And just, 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 just and, moderate and your language please it hasn't, it's I, been I, extremely I, difficult I do, is what you I meant to say I do apologise it's been extremely difficult and so I've just so you know when it, when you're in front of like all these people and you've got all these people standing up and you've got all these people behind you trying yeah. to and you're trying to do this demonstration and it fails on you yeah. well, what, what, what message is that sending out to people it's just sending out that it's a rubbish piece of technology and it doesn't work. Right, the, okay. Well, John, I think we are allowed to use the word rubbish. I think we can say rubbish. Well, I do apologise well, for my d- language. Okay, but, I'm but just John, look, it, John, uh, I've, got, I've got to put another question to you. Um, well, just another point, because we're, we're going to run out of time now. It's quarter two and we've got to pack up before the jazz. So, uh, listen, earlier on, I was just asking about wheelchairs and whether there can be n- new technology associated with wheelchairs, because they're talking more and more about cars... And you pointed out that actually um, it, you'd need a, an electricity-powered wheelchair to be able to support any sort of technology linked to it, or battery charging, or I do, anything uh, like that. You reckon? I believe you would. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see any, 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 any. Um, I don't see, I don't see any other way around that, really. What, is, what has just occurred to me during, during this programme, while we're listening to the music, I don't, I don't know what you'd think, there's, um, there's a shop called Shop Mobility on Paris Street. Yeah. So do you think they could have um, a demonstration of new technology that you could rent? Yeah, they could but, So that would I be a possibility. I mean, you can rent scooters, you can rent electric technology, like, um, or, yeah, a lot of there for the day. And you can go around town on electric scooters for the day. So, if I carry on just thinking about um, most of the studio I mean, being scaled down and available in a mobile device, if you're if you're saying, I mean, you could if you wanted to, will because you seem to be very interested in it, which is not a bad thing. But if you wanted to, yeah. you could go and hire a hire an electric scooter out for the day and go around town. I could on it and and really get a feel feel for it, and then you can come back and report. Um, well, if I specified I wanted one with a with a, a, a charging device for my phone and my recording this and that and yes, all of that, but that's all very good, that's um, all very good, Will. But I'm just saying, it, the technology you're talking about it sounds very logical, and I'm yep. hoping one day it will be there. But I don't think it's gonna. I, it's not. I, it's not there at the moment. It's not there at the moment. So what I think is going to happen, I think it's in the. I think. I think. I think it's going to be invented, but it's not there at the moment. So I don't know no. what you're trying. I, well, it's just that I hear all these things being claimed about the Internet of Things, and um, your car will know when to dip its lights because it will know when a car's coming towards it, and all these wonderful things. And then I look around the studio here, which is not the easiest place to get a wheelchair into. No. Uh, being in the basement of the Phoenix like the Phoenix is a wonderful building in many ways but um, it's just that if you could get miniaturised sound recording uh, into some sort of backup and a wheelchair seems to have a lot of space really compared to a phone Mm -hmm. so I don't see why you can't have a, a rechargeable battery 
that piles everything else. Mm -hmm and well, um, geolocation, it's whatever. It's very logical, Will, and, and but it's not, but it's not been out there, it's not a bench. It's not there at the moment. It's not there at the moment, mate, but what you're saying, it's not, it's not, stu it's not stupid. No. But it's just not there at the no. moment. No. And I, I, well, I can't wait for the day it is there, because no, I, I, I shall, I shall rely on it ma massively, because I wouldn't be able to push a manual wheelchair forever. No. Because I'm going to get OD, you see. So you will need, you'll <laughs> need a, a, a machine at some I point. I will need a machine at some point, and, um, but yeah, I think it's all very. I think it's all okay. very logical. Well, look, all, all, we, all we could say is that in, in Exeter, we're prepared to demonstrate one if it comes along. If somebody's working out how to do yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, if somebody if somebody's listening today, that and that is that is maybe working out how to do this, or any any developers or any. Yeah, schemers out there. Do do get in contact with us and, and, and tell us about it because we would be more than happy to yeah. give you an interview. I mean, it's... Yeah, we would interview you. What we basically want is a, is a record... It's like this. But, uh, social media is getting closer to broadcast quality. It's not there yet, but it's possibility. And um, so why not build a studio into... A motor car, obviously. Well, they 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 more or less think they can do that because you can have a hands-free, uh, whatever. Um, don't use speakerphone if you're phoning in to a studio. Uh, that's one thing. But if you don't do that, then the car's getting there. So we basically want a, a wheelchair. We can we can move around a city centre, um, all built in. It's not. I think that's. It's not impossible. Anyway, we're running out of time. Um, this is um, this is another version of Lady in Red. This is from uh, Johnny Taylor on the Malaco label.